Here we are going to look at a nice absolute value inequality problem from a national mathematical competition for university students in Nigeria. In this question, we ask to find the values of x for which this inequality is true. Now you remember that anytime we want to solve an absolute value problem, we try to remove the absolute value sign. In this case, since we know that the solution will be on a real line, we can partition the range of variables into several intervals. Now to do that, we set each expression in the absolute value sign to be zero. So we set x to be zero. We set x plus 2 to be 0 and we also set 2 minus x here to be 0. So meaning that here we are going to have x to be negative 2 and we are going to have this to be 2, x to be what? To be 0, to be 2 rather because if you collect like times we are going to have x to be what? 2. So we have this to be x to be 2. So if we try to draw our real line, so let's try to draw our real line. So we have this three points on this line so we have negative two we have zero and we also have what we also have two all right so we've partitioned this into what into into three different interval so the first interval here is what when your x is less than or equals to negative two so we have when you have x to be less than or equals to negative two or when you have x to be strictly greater than negative 2 but less or equals to 0 and when x is what strictly greater than 0 but less or equals to 2 and when x is greater than what x is greater than 2 all right so another thing we might want to do is to try to write the definition for absolute value of x the absolute value of x plus 2 and the absolute value of 2 minus x now what is the absolute value of x by definition the absolute value of x is defined as as x that's if your x is greater than zero and it is zero if x is what zero and also negative x that's if my x is what less than zero and also the absolute value of x plus two the absolute value of x plus two is defined as x plus two that's if my x plus 2 is greater than 0 so if x plus 2 is greater than 0 x plus 2 to be greater than 0 so that means my x to be greater than what my x to be greater than minus 2 so we have x to be greater than minus 2 so let me rub this piece off and also if it to be 0 that's if x is what negative 2 and also it will be negative of x plus 2 that's if my x is what's less than negative 2 all right so then the last one we have absolute value of 2 minus x so the absolute value of 2 minus x is defined as what is defined as 2 minus x that is if 2 minus x is greater than 0 so if 2 minus x is greater than 0 what are we going to have we are going to have so if you collect like times, that means we are going to have 2 to be greater than x. That means x is less than 2. So that is if x is less than 2. And it is 0. That is if x is equal to 2. And also negative of 2 minus x. Alright? That is if, if what? 2 minus x is what? Is less than 0. So if 2 minus x is less than 0, I'm going to have 2 to be less than... 2 to be less than x that makes x is greater than 2 so we are going to have x to be greater than 2 all right so having known that so let's try to rub this place off let's try to rub this place off now since we've partitioned this so we can actually solve this we can actually solve this inequality by considering each of this case so the first case here is that we are going to consider the case first case will be the fact that will be the fact that what when my x is actually between is actually less strictly is actually uh, less or equals to negative 2 so we have 0 comma negative negative 2 now if x is less than negative 2 less or equals to negative 2 all right so that means you are around somewhere here that means you are somewhere here all right so if you are somewhere here, that means you are less or equals to negative 2 subsequently you are also less than 0 and you are also less than what you are also less than 2 meaning that the absolute value of x will be what so in this range so if you look at this so here x is less than 0 
obviously x is less than zero if you are here that means you are less than or equals to two negative two and also you are also less than zero and also less than what two so meaning that the absolute value of x will be what the absolute value of x will be negative x all right so now what to be the absolute value of x plus two the absolute value of x plus two is will be what so meaning that you are also less than you are also less than negative two so that means your answer will be what negative of x minus two so that means we are going to have this to be negative x minus two okay so if you use this negative to open this bracket and also you are also less than you are also strictly less than what two so if you use this inequality so that means we are going to have plus two minus x all right so everything is less or equals to what less or equals to eight so meaning that if you solve this inequality you can see that with this case here the, with the first case here we are able to remove all the absolute value sign considering this first case here now if you solve this what are we going to have we are going to have this to be negative x negative x negative x that means we are going to have this to be what negative three x then here we have negative two plus two that means we have this to be zero to be less or equals to eight then if you divide both sides by negative three dividing both sides by negative three don't forget that anytime you are divided by negative uh, negative sign in inequality your you reverse your inequality sign so that means we are going to have x to be greater or equals to negative eight over three all right so now let's now try to compare it with this first case here so here if i take it with the intersection of the intersection of this point let's see let's find the solution set if i take it with the intersection of this point so with the, with the fact that x is greater or equals to x x is less or equals to 2 all right so the fact that x is less or equals to 2 so let's try to draw our real line to determine the solution set of this equation so i have this all right so this is negative 2 of obviously i will, i'm going to have this to be negative 8 over 3 and i'm going to have this to be negative 2 so x is greater or equals to negative 8 over 3 so that means i have this region here like this and i also have x to be less or equals to negative 2 so x is less or equals to negative 2 so i have this region here like this so this is shaded here all right so since i'm looking at the intersection the intersection is just the common point between the two points so what we are where are the common points the common points of these two inequalities so if you combine these two inequalities that means we are going to have a uh, negative negative 8 over 3 to be less or equals to x to be less or equals to negative 2 in which you can in which you can write that means we have the solution set the solution set solution set would be what the solution set is what negative 8 over 3 comma negative 2 so this is for the first case okay this is for the first case for case one so now let's now move to the second case the second case will be the fact that when you are in this what when you are in this region here so we are considering the fact that what we consider the fact that the case whereby case two we consider the fact that negative two is less than zero strictly less than strictly greater than minus two but less or equals towards zero all right so in this interval so what are we going to have in this interval now if you check it so if you are in this range here that means you are you are greater than minus two but less than zero and also less than what two okay so meaning that what to be your absolute value of x your absolute value of x here will be what since you are still less than zero that means the absolute value of x here will be what negative x all right and also here since you are greater than minus two you are greater than minus two all right so that means what to be the absolute value of x plus two the absolute value of x plus two will be what will be x plus two so that means we have this to be plus x plus two here you are strictly less than what two so that means the absolute value of x st will still be what two minus x all right to be strictly less or equals to to be less or equals to what eight 
so meaning that if we now try to simplify this inequality so what are we going to have we are going to have this to be minus x plus x is what zero then we have two plus two that's four that means we have minus x plus four to be less or equals to eight and if you call it like times that means we are going to have minus x to be less or equals to four by subtracting four from both sides and if you divide both sides by negative one that means we are going to have this to be what we are going to have x to be greater or equals to minus four now if we take it with the intersection of this case here so that means we have we are comparing it with the fact that minus two is less less than x but it is less or equals to what zero so let's try to draw our real line so if we do that what are we going to have we are going to have this to be so we have our real line so that means we have negative 4 here we have negative 2 here and we also have 0 here so x is greater or equals to 4 negative 4 so that means we have shade it here then you go in this direction all right so we have this this place here and we have negative 2 is less than x less or equals to 0 so that means we have this shaded region here so we don't need to shade this one actually because it's open at that point so that means we have this to be open at this point but it is closed at this point here so now what is the interest where does this graph intersect this graph intersects at this region here All right so the solution set to this equation is what solution set solution set to this second case is what is negative 2 all right so it is open at this end open at this end so that means we have negative 2 comma comma 0 but it is closed at this end okay so we have open at this end and closed at this end now we move to the third case the third case is when we have this to be at this point is when we have our hex to be at this point okay suppose you are now at this point All right so that is you are already trapping zero comma zero comma two open at two but closed at open at zero but closed at two so if you consider that case what are we going to have we are going to have this to be now in this case you will see that the absolute value of x will be what that means you are already greater than that means the absolute value of x will now be what since you are already greater than zero the absolute value of x will now be x all right and also the absolute value of x plus two Will be what since you're already greater than minus two will be what x plus two why the moment you are still less than two the absolute value of x two minus x still remain as what two minus x okay so if we write that down what are we going to have so we have the case three we have case three case three so the moment where our x is what the moment where we have 0 comma 0 comma 2 so the meaning that we have this to be the absolute value of x to be what x we have the absolute value of x plus 2 to be what x plus 2 and we have the absolute value of 2 minus x to be to be what so let's look at it and check it again all right so we have this to be so since we are less than 2 since we are less than 2 so the absolute value of x uh, 2 minus x still remain as what 2 minus x so let's write that down so we have this to be 2 minus x to be strictly less or equals to what 8 so if we solve that in the, if we solve this inequality so what are we going to have we are going to have this to be x plus x is 2x 2x minus x is what is ordinary x and we have this to be what plus 4 to be less or equals to 8 now we have x to be less or equals to what 4 and if we compare this with if we take it with the fact that x is less or less than 0 and it's strictly less than 0 is between 0 is less than x and it's also less or equals to 2 so what are we going to have so the solution set so let's try to draw the graph for us to see the solution set so we have this to be that so let me draw that with a black marker 
so we have this to be two here so we have this we have zero here we have two here and we also have what's four here so we have zero x is less or equals to four so we have it to be closed at this end and it goes down like this all right so and we also have the fact that what zero x is between zero and two so it's open at this end and it's also what's closed at this end so we have this point here now where does these two graphs intersect the two graphs intersect at what the solution set so the solution set solution set is what is open at zero and closed at what at two so this is where the graph intersects you can see this is where the graph both of this graph intersect this region here that's where the graph intersects so that's where i'm picking this again this is where the graph intersects okay so open at this end but closed at this end so this is where the intersect okay so let's move on to the last case so what to be the last case the last case will be the fact that what when you are at what when you are at this point here so let me put that when you are now at what at this point so when you are at this point so that means you are greater than negative two you are greater than zero you are greater than what two okay so that means the absolute value of x will be what x the absolute value of x plus two will be what two x plus two then the absolute value of two minus x will be what minus minus of two minus x okay so since your x is greater than what two so that means we are going to pick these points so if we substitute that what are we going to have so let's keep this in mind these three things x x plus two and minus of two minus x so let's try to write that write that down and we find our solution sets all right so if we write that down so we are considering the third case the third case whereby so we have case we have the fourth case where your what where your x is what is more than what is more than two all right so if we consider that fact we are going to have this to be what we are going to have the absolute value of x to be x then we have this to be x plus two then we have this to be plus now don't forget that we are going to take the negation of absolute value we are going to take the negation of two minus x so if you take negative of this from this place let me show you again so from this place this is what we are this is what we are talking about so if you if you simplify this that means we are going to have this to be what minus minus two minus two plus x so we have this to be minus two plus x minus two plus x so if we write that down we are going to have this to be what? minus two plus x to be less or equals to eight all right so if we simplify this what are we going to have we are going to have this to be x plus x plus x that's what three x all right so we have three x three x then negative two minus two is what two minus two is what zero so that that means we have three x to be what to be less or equals to eight so if i was about three dividing both about three that means we are going to have x to be less or equals to eight over three all right so if we compare it with this solution set here if we compare it with this condition here in this case four here and see if we take the intersection of that point all right so taking the intersection of that point don't forget to always take the intersection with your the, the case you are considering it's very important so we have this to be two to be greater to be greater or sorry should be x is greater or equal is greater than what two okay x is greater than two because it's open at our end so if you consider that case so what are we going to have we are going to have it this to be what so let's draw our number line so we have two here and we have eight over three here so we have x to be less or equals to eight over, eight over three so that means it is open at this what it is open at this end it is closed at this end so we have this point here then we have x to be what greater than two strictly greater than two that means it's open at this end here then like this so what is the intersection of these two points the intersection of these two points is what is is this graph here so that means we have this to be the solution set then becomes so we have the solution set then becomes 
So let me take this up a little bit. So we have the solution set to be. Now, if you take the intersection of this graph, so that means we are going to have 2 to be less or equals to x, less or equals to 8 over 3. So this is open at this end. So if you want to write it in interval notation form, so we have this to be what? We have this to be open at this end, alright, then closed at this end, so 8 over 3. Now, since we have the solution set of each each of those cases so it is now important for us to now take the union of each each of those cases now let's now take the union of this of each each of these cases now okay so don't forget the solution set for the first case so the solution set for the first case is what is this so let's write that out here so we have for the case one so for case one we have this to be we have the solution set to be negative eight over three comma negative two negative two close that both end all right so for case two we have the solution set to be what open at this end but closed at this what at this end all right so for case three we have what we have it to be what we have zero comma what zero comma two so we have zero comma two so meaning that it's open at this end but closed at this end then for case four we have open at two but closed at eight over what eight over three so if we take the union of each of each each of these cases so what are we going to have so let's not take the union of this case now for us to take the union it is very important for us to just draw the graph so that so that we can be able to see the union of those sets so if you draw our real line all right so we have this to be what we have this to be negative 8 over 3 so if you arrange this point 8 over 3 we have this to be negative 2 we have this to be what 0 we have this to be 2 and we have this to be what 8 over 3 now for the first case we have the first case to be what negative 2 negative 8 over 3 comma negative 2 so closed at both ends so we have this to be closed at this end closed at this end so we have this graph here okay so the next one is what next one is negative 2 comma 0 so negative 2 comma 0 is open at this end but closed at what closed at the other end here closed at this end here so we have this guy here then the third point we have open at zero but closed at what closed at two okay so that means we have this third point here then the last case we have open at two again but closed at what eight over three Close that eight over three. Okay, so we have this last point here. So we want to take the union of of each each of this each each of these cases. So if you take the union of this graph, now if you look at this, the union of this graph is what? So we have minus eight over three comma negative two and um, union open at two. That's what negative two comma zero union. 0 comma 2 union 2 comma 8 over 3 so what will be the answer the obvious answer here is what so the solution set the solution set to this problem solution sets would be what would be negative 8 over 3 because it is closed at this end here negative 8 over 3 comma 8 over 3 so it is both closed at this end it is closed at this end it's also closed at this end so this is the solution to the what to the problem so you can even test for test for any value so if you pick any value outside the range of the solution set you will not get the answer so the set of values that satisfy this equation or this inequality is what so the set of values that satisfy this inequality is what is negative 8 over 3 comma 8 over 3 i hope you understand it how we solve the problem 
be sure to subscribe to this channel and if you have not pressed the notification button press it now so that you can be updated whenever i post a new video like this thank you very much see you next time